In this video, let's look at my recording setup in my house, in my basement. I'll actually show you what I have in terms of microphones, recording interface, instruments, that kind of thing. There's my drum set, Tama Star Classic EFX, the 100% Birch kit, a couple of snare drums, uh, Peisty cymbals, guitar amp, little Fender Blues Junior, a bunch of pedals, um, sort of a practice bass amp, a PV bass amp. I use this little table, that's where my, I usually set my laptop when I'm recording. Guitars, basses, that kind of thing. Keyboard controllers. This is my main uh, recording interface, the Focusrite Claret 8 Pre USB uh, with a little art um, XLR patch bay underneath that so I don't have a bunch of cables hanging out. I also have the smaller Focusrite thing, the Scarlet um, 2i4, I think is what it's called, which I use for smaller things, like if I need to record my voice for a podcast or if I had a quick idea on guitar or something like that. Some type of Audio-Technica headphone, they're good. I don't actually have speakers at the moment. Now let's talk microphones for a bit. I've got a quite a few Shure SM57s. Work great for drums. Toms and snare. A couple of 58s for vocally things. And my kick drum. Use this Audix D6. I actually love this, the Audio Technica, what is it, 20 ATM, ATM 25. Uh, great, it's actually a good kick drum mic, but I use it for floor toms. For overheads, um, Audio Technica, AT2021. Apparently I like Audio Technica and Shure microphones. So for vocals, the AT2020 works really well. And of course I have a couple of these MXL, uh, what is this, the 990? Yeah, 990s. Um, dented, of course. So the thing to point out here is that I have cheap microphones. This one or maybe this one, I'm not sure, are the most expensive microphones I have, and those are maybe a couple hundred bucks, probably a little less than that. So these are both slightly under a hundred. Well, same with this one, 70 or 80 bucks. These were about the same, pretty cheap, uh, but they do a great job. So I can adequately capture my drum set uh, using those cheaper microphones. Um, guitar, just a SM57 on it. Bass, I'll get to that at some point. That's a little harder for me to capture. My point with showing you all this stuff is just to show you that I'm sort of an average musician. I've got some musical tools that I like. Not everybody would. I've got some microphones that work. They're cheaper microphones. They work pretty well. I've got a good recording interface. Um, I'm a drummer, I need eight channels. But that's all I have. I don't have any fancy sound boards, no thousand dollar microphones, no huge uh, studio quality monitors, though I wanna get some, some monitors at some point. That's what I have, that's what I use to record with, and they work really well, for me anyway. And that's all I have for now, so I will catch you later.